we take in over 100 animals a month. So if we had to close our doors immediately, where are those 100 animals plus going to go? If the Humane Society was to close their doors, I mean, we would have a far greater amount of strays, say about 5,000 or more. Like the stray dogs, no one's going to feed them, so they're going to have to find a way to eat. When you put out your garbage, they're there to knock it over. Then you're going to call the Humane Society, oh, my garbage got knocked over by a dog. But that same dog you saw knock over your garbage, you could have bring that dog right into the Humane Society. Try to encourage people to spay and neuter so we don't have so many of these animals coming in here to us. We offer the spaying and neutering program here every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, it, it is a charge, it's not as expensive as the private vets would charge, but we still take them in. Even if you don't have the money, we still say, well, okay, you can leave a donation, but we just want to make sure that the, the animal gets the best care. We try to find homes for them locally but our current local adoption rate is about 10% of what we take in. We've had to cut back on the number of animals we keep because we can't afford to take care of as many at a time. If you have a dog that's pregnant that she's already given birth, but you cannot care for the animal, cannot care for the mother and her puppies, then bring them to the Humane Society and they would be cared for. Our annual operating budget is around $750,000 a year. What the community has to realize is that we are operating under significant constraints. We are not financed by the government. And that includes pet food, which is a huge expense, medical supplies. So everything that we do has to be financed by contribution from the public or some good-hearted people who give us funds to run uh, the Humane Society. We just try to teach empathy to the community and encourage them to be proactive. And if you can, donate some of your time, not just money, you know. If you can, donate some of your time because they would need the extra hands due to the fact of the amount of dogs and cats that they take in on a regular basis. It validates everything we do when we can achieve a happy ending for even one animal. Be a voice for those who cannot speak. Donate, adopt, or volunteer at the Humane Society of Grand Bahama.